there. Welcome to another episode of Roadside Revelation. It's warming up a little bit and I can take my phone out of my pocket and talk to y'all. <laughs> missed you? I know you missed me. <laughs> anyway, topic on my mind. Well, I know you've heard me weigh in on Trump and how I feel about that. I'm going to throw in a little bit from the other side of the fence. Honestly, Democrats... Hillary Clinton's the best you have to offer, has the condition of the American people sunk so low that we go find the person that has less integrity, well, less integrity than most anybody, and we just pull her out because she has a name of a past president and... She throws her weight around a little bit. And she thinks that what she has to say is really all that important when the fact of the matter is nothing that she has had to say has really kept a consistent track the whole time. I know that her word consistency has come up a ton, but it doesn't happen. The fact of the matter is the woman has lied about so many things. Let's go back to Bosnia. I mean, Brian Williams was crucified for misrepresenting himself on television. How many times has this woman represented herself? Bosnia and sniper fire on the tarmac? Dealing with sniper fire, having to run to their car when they have totally shown video of her shaking hands with kids and hugging and taking pictures? The woman's a liar. It's really basically that, I mean, yes. And, and it wasn't even a major issue. She lies about sniper fire? Is she so important she thinks somebody wants to take her out? I don't know. Anyway, she lies about that. The whole email thing. Has she been convicted? No. Is she really shady in this issue? Heck yes. We know she's shady. She's disgustingly shady. The woman lies about her stance on health care on a regular basis. She's called out Barack Obama and praised Barack Obama for the same issue. The fact of the matter is, she doesn't know where she stands on that. Gay marriage. What does she stand on there? She doesn't. She has flip-flopped over the last six to seven years over that whole process because she doesn't know who she's speaking to from one minute to the next. Does she not think somebody's going to pick up a video camera and see that she's lied over the last six years because she can't decide where she's, where she's going? Democratic debates. She's flip-flopped her stance in the middle of a debate. I don't get it. What is it you guys see in this woman? What kind of spell has she cast on you? Because the woman's a liar. And if this is the best the Democrats have, which I don't necessarily think that's the case, I mean, honestly, in all of the things that I've seen, Bernie Sanders at least has some integrity. He stood behind what he says. But all of that put aside you got to come up with something better. Hillary Clinton is a joke. Yes, she's a woman. And that's, that's all well and good. Could we have a woman president? I think we should at some point. But Hillary's not that lady. I'm throwing the whole lady thing out there loosely because the woman is basically soulless. But how can you vote for that? Honestly. I'm interested in your opinions. RoadsideRevelation.com uh, Hashtag Roadside Revelation. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. I'm really interested in your opinions. Because obviously I haven't voted yet. It hasn't happened. But as an independent, I want to see both sides of the story. Give me your opinions. Let me know how you feel. Have a great day.